Hey guys, uh, <laughs> uh, Von Vernon Kid here. How's everybody doing out there? Welcome back. Um, I had this plan for a long time, and you know, it was supposed to be a, already on. It's supposed to have been already uploaded, uh, but when my computer went down, which is still in the shop, um, getting fixed, uh, that kind of got messed up. But I always plan to redo it because I, always, I wanted to give my thoughts on this, you know, especially for my fellow Doctor Strange fans out there. Yeah, so um, <laughs> wanted to talk about this and um, wanted to kind of give give my thoughts on this real quick. And um, with all the things that have been coming out of the Doctor Strange camp for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the f one thing that was always on my mind, ladies and gentlemen, was when is Wong getting cast? I'm like, okay, you got Doctor Strange, you got the Ancient One with all the big controversy around that. You got Baron Mordo, which seems to be no real big controversy around that. And all the in in betweens and all that, but then I'm like, where is the good doctor's partner in crime? His companion? I never really call him a sidekick because he's more than just a sidekick. Long, and then finally we heard it. We heard that he was casted, and uh, it is in the form of an actor by the name of, believe it or not, which makes it so funny, Benedict Wong. <laughs> so not only does he have the first name of the main characters, the actor playing Doctor Strange, but he also has the last name of the character he's playing, Wong. Now for all those who know Wong and who's read Doctor Strange as long as I have, you know Wong has been that type of character that's been by Doctor Strange's side through thick and thin. He's a hell of a martial artist. He's always endabbled in the cults, in the in the cults for Doctor Strange. Has been a good healer for Doctor Strange as well. Um, he watches over the Sanctorum Sanctum as well. Um, he also is always able. You could always count on him to pr pr uh, protect Doctor Strange when P Strange uses astral projection. So he protects his body. And, you know, at one point he was actually, Dr. Strange was actually, Wong was actually Dr. Strange's uh, apprentice to carry on the role if anything would happen to him. Uh, but finally we, we get uh, known who's going to play Wong now. I, I didn't see a lot of people talk about this. And I'm like, really? Wow. Why, why are you not talking about Wong? It's like, come on. This is a, a great character. Is Wong like all those other great characters that have been by the sides of legendary heroes like Tonto and Robin and uh, I can keep going on, you know, Bucky? Uh, yeah, he is. I But I never look at Wong as being a sidekick. I never have. Um, I, I, I never will. You know, I just feel that he's just, he is what I like to say, he's a companion. Uh, Kind of like, yeah, Doctor Who. You know, yes, I'm a Whovian, so yeah, I, I look at it like that. Um, but he's he's kind of far more than a, a companion because Wong gets to shine too when need be. Uh, but as for Mr. Wong in general, I'm not too familiar with his work uh, because I still have not seen The Martian. I know he was in that movie. Um, I'm trying to remember wh which role he was in Kick-Ass 2 because he was in that. Um, but the biggest thing, of course, that uh, people seem to know him by is his role in the Netflix series Marco Polo, which I've heard good things about, but I never saw. So I'm looking forward to maybe going on Netflix and binge watching Marco Polo and see how he was on that. But uh, other than that, this is good casting. Um, so far, uh, Mr. Wong is around a, a ensemble cast. And it's good to see Wong has been cast now. In terms of, I hope, uh, I hope he shaves his hair, you know, and, and has the bald look like my my Wong that I like. You know, of course they they've had some time had Wong with the hair and things like that, but I want bald Wong. Um, 
but you know this is also a sense of like I'm hoping that even though Wong has been casted I'm hoping that this does not bring out those people that are just oh well they they casted Wong Asian but they can't do the Asian ancient one you know I, I'm really hoping that's not what this does but like I said I haven't heard anybody really talk about it and but I'm glad to see Wong has been casted and um because this was a this was a character I was looking for I'm like where the hell is Wong? I was, I'm like, is Wong gonna be in this movie? And just glad to know that he is. Um, so yeah. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for Mr. Wong, Mr. Benedict Wong. Um, I hope he does well in the role and um, brings that essence of Wong that I've read over my 20 plus years of reading comics and. Um, yeah, you know, so I know this is over long overdue, guys, but I still want to just get my get my my thoughts out on it. And other than that, guys, you guys tell me about the casting. Do you like it? Are you glad Wong is cast? And other than that, guys, this is Mom Vernon Kid, the Omni Geek Highlight of New York, saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real, guys. I'll see you guys later. Take care.